Welcome and thank you for joining me once again. This is going to be a full body flow predominantly for pregnant mummies. Anyone can do it, it avoids lying on your back um, if that's a difficult thing for you and we would advise that you don't do that after 16 weeks pregnant anyway. So starting in a cross leg position, everything here we're focusing on is a nice deep breath into your lungs, really filling your ribs every which way, umbrella breaths, as well as a gentle connection to your abdominals, which are only getting more stretched and opening of the hips as much as we can. So starting in this position or even into your Buddha pose, if you're more comfortable here, let's start with a curl down, chin down to your chest, roll your shoulders forward and drop everything down, opening your knees as much as you can. Inhale, nice and big. Exhale, fold again. Curl your lower back as much as bump allows. And inhale, nice and tall. And exhale, curl once more. And lift nice and long. Good, just drop one ear to one side, keeping that opposite shoulder down as much as you can. Same to the other side and release into our nice mermaid put one hand down and get a nice stretch over the top and over to the other side good same again just taking everything nice and slow at your own pace good with a little rotation so we'll come around and twist trying to get the other hand up right behind your back twist round and then lift your chest as much as you can and release, same to the other side, pulling against that opposite knee, twist and lift. And release. So this tension in your upper body, really lots of rotation stretches should help with that. Turn lengthways along your mat. Okay, we'll stay onto our hands just now and then we're starting to lift our legs. So keeping the shoulders down, trying to avoid hunching, Lengthen through there, which gently brings bump up. And you're just going to come into your scissors. So we're lifting one leg and lifting the other. Exhaling as you go. And that brings that connection a little bit closer into your belly button. So this is level one here. If you want to bring it into level two, you're taking it up, lengthen and back down. Again, exhaling all the way as we're lengthening the legs, creating more pressure into your abdominals. Good, and to get a little bit more of a thigh burn, let's hold the next one out and pulse for one, two, three, four, five, switch over. Two, three, four, five, and back in. Open up the chest, lift your bottom, squeeze through your glutes, and back down. When you're on time, with your exhale, and release. We'll do two more here. So strong into the shoulders, into your triceps, squeezing through those glutes. One more. And back down. Keep your knees together and rock them from side to side. Again, we're opening up through the collarbones and you should feel that nice twist all the way up the spine. Good, we'll roll over onto our side and you can prop yourself up onto your elbow and if you need a pillow then please feel free to put it underneath your waist. Drop the shoulder, open the collarbones into your clam. So the clam is a really basic Pilates exercise, but really good for just localising the strength around your waist, around your pelvis, keeping your hips nice and stable. And it gives a nice little burn in here once you've done a few. Now for some that might be five or it might be 35, but work it until you feel it start to, to wake up a little bit. Keep these shoulders down, keep the waist, waist lifted. Good. We can make it a little bit harder by extending the leg and doing some little circles. Good. 
keep the breath going nice and gentle switch direction good hold it up and let's add an arm stretch over the top bring everything in and repeat stretch away and release again lengthening through these muscles that don't usually get into these sort of positions with day-to-day -day activity so it's quite nice to just open up through the side muscles and you'll probably start to feel that into the hip muscles there as well and the last one and back down keeping the heels and the knees together let's just rise up into our side plank here and drop down so we're engaging through these bottom obliques pushing hips forward for another three keeping these shoulders down Now your obliques will take a lot of strain during pregnancy because bump growing and then muscles really stretching out to the side. So you want to keep them nice and strong. Lovely. Coming over onto all fours. So this four point position is a, is a really comfortable position for most mums during pregnancy and a great position to try and get baby into the right um, position for delivery as well. So slotting shoulders down again, wrists underneath shoulders, knees up knees underneath hips and start by just doing some nice cat cows so you're making space as you sink your belly down and then just drench, gently bring belly button in and you're just rounding as far as bump allows inhale release and exhale tuck everything in and even during labor you might have done these sort of movements in your antenatal classes really quite nice just to keep the hips open and promote baby down in the right direction similarly into your tail wags so pushing your hip off to one side and off to the other so just like you're wagging your tail and again just opening through the pelvis creating a little less tension in the back as well okay into our superwomans let's stretch one arm out but you're going to keep it down on the mat okay keeping your back nice and flat stretch your opposite leg out as well bring them in together so we're challenging our balance through this diagonal and in so all the weights coming through this static arm and leg And if you feel comfortable, you can lift, again, tighten up, blow out, and then release and come back in. Three more here. Good, last one. I'm going to stay on this side with a hand that's just been moving. I'm going to thread it through that gap all the way down onto your head. So getting a nice stretch through the upper back. And then release back. And we'll do the same on the other side. So stretch the arm out, lengthen the leg and bring back in. You might find one side easier than the other. And then let's try lifting, stretch. Good, you can feel those tummy muscles having to work that slight bit harder as you lift and bring in. Good, one more here. Good, into your hover, turn your toes under, slot the shoulders down, lift nice and strong through the belly button as we hover our knees above the mat, inhale down, exhale rise, trying to keep the back nice and still, if you feel that's too hard, push a little bit further back onto your legs or get your bottom a little bit higher, but make sure that you're not sagging down, release, 
and lift. Quite a hard one into the shoulders there. Keep going. Three and two. Keep the shoulders soft. And one. And uh, still working in these sort of plank progressions. Relax the feet, take the body forward into our knee plank. Again, slotting the shoulders down, trying to avoid this hunch, lengthen up through the back of the neck. Inhale, release. Exhale, bring it forward. Squeeze in through your bottom and release. And you're only coming far as your belly allows that stretch into your abdominals, maybe too much. But if you feel comfortable, then we'll add a little arm press and release. So nice and strong, nice and steady. And still getting a bit of an arm workout there as well. Pinching back into your shoulder blades. And two more. And release, okay? Taking the knees nice and wide. This child's pose, again, one of the brilliant exercises through yoga for pregnancy. Make space for your bump. And again, you're getting a really nice stretch around the lower back, down and into your pelvic floor as well. Or you can stay here for five minutes, it's okay. When you're ready though, let's take it back up and we're gonna go back onto the other side. So repeating what we've done here, onto the elbow, drop the shoulder and into your clams. So still a little lift through this waist and a drop through the shoulder. Okay, one side is always going to be slightly stronger than the other. So make sure that you challenge it and you take it to that point where, oh, I just feel that starting to burn. Good, let's lengthen it, make it a little bit harder, lifting it in line with the hip, little circles. Good, and you're trying to not rock through the pelvis, so keeping that nice and steady. Like I say, using a pillow underneath bump if you need. Let's change direction. Good, keep that shoulder dropped. Good, three, two, one. Starting to feel that quite nicely. Using the arm, adding it for an extra stretch away. And return. So again, we're lifting through the waist. Getting a nice stretch through the side. Always breathing through the stretch so that you're not causing any additional pressure or bracing. Good, one more here. Knees together, heels together. Rise up into your side plank and drop down. A little lift, strong through the supporting shoulder, lifting through the bottom obliques. Release. And two. And last one. And release. Good. Back over onto hands and knees and we'll work into our lunge. Now, if you're suffering with any sort of pubic pain or SI pain around the back, you might want to really limit this into just a small step forward. Okay, but if you're able to, let's bring it a little bit further forward and probably a little bit wider again, just to accommodate bump. So you're coming into a nice big lunge, anything that's just gently opening up these hips. And we won't hold it for a long stretch, but just rocking into it nice and gentle. Good. So you feel that pulling through the back leg and then through the hamstring at the front as you ease off. Good. Let's hold it out front. So if my right foot is forward, my left hand is down and I'm going to rise up through that right hand. Again, just as far as bump allows, 
Staying nice and open into the hips, getting a nice spine twist. And we'll repeat on the other side, bring the knees back together. Take the other leg nice and wide and just ease into it and back off. Hold the next one out. Opposite hand down. Rotate round and lift up through that opposite side and sink the hips a little bit lower. Good. And ease back off onto your knees. Now there's lots of different positions that you can still work in. Just lying on your back and on your tummy are the ones that we don't want to work through. But through here, it's quite nice to lift and rise so that you're still working your glutes and your hamstrings, getting a nice open chest, giving the bump a nice big space. Good, and we're gonna stay up and open and rotate round and lean back onto our heel and rotate and lean back okay so this extension is quite nice into the spine but again you're only going as far as bump is comfortable keep breathing through it try not to breath hold and two more Good, arms out front, slot the shoulders back into your toy soldier, split your arms, inhale and release. Good, so you get a pull through the shoulder blades, but try not to overextend or rib flare too much. And you should still feel that working nicely into your deeper abdominals and your glutes and your hamstrings as well. Last two, and then we can release back to the Good, okay, in this position again, let's do some nice side positions, nice side stretches over the top. Good, and again, pelvic tilting all the way down and curling that upper back, rising nice and open and curling down. Good. Open up, squeeze the hands behind you and push them down, opening chest, squeezing shoulder blades and again drop the chin and down to one side and the opposite side. Good. Release this tension. Well done. Now any sort of exercise is still promoted through pregnancy, especially the likes of yoga for the relaxation, the breath work and the opening side. Pilates for a good core strength and we know that the evidence says that that helps with delivery, relaxation as well as your postnatal recovery. So join me for some other videos to help you. Good luck. Thank you for watching.